Hi, I'm Emily with Be Unique, and today we're here with Kurt LeJudis, the director of Caddyshack Wildlife Sanctuary in Jacksonville. Hi. Thank you for coming out to enjoy the animals. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful here. You're, this is the worst office I've ever been in. That's why I keep coming back to work. <laughs> so tell me, what, what was the day that you said, today's the day where I create an animal sanctuary? You know, uh, I was always, uh, uh, had a lot of animals and we were always dog folks and uh, had dogs growing up. I had horses and other animals, but uh, never had cats. I actually went to a facility to look at dogs and they were animal brokers and sold animals around the world, but it introduced me to all types of animals. So I had a chance to work with primates, bears, felines, canines. And the felines really caught my interest as uh, their personalities and all their capabilities were just so unique. And these are very big felines. They are. You know, they start out small, uh, a pound or so. But uh, as I would say, add a little bit of water and poof, there you go. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's not to be missed. Like, we can just cut straight to the point. You are standing between these animals and extinction. Like... You are the guardian for these animals. You know, I feel blessed because of the animals that come here and we choose to hopefully help and better their life. Uh, we preach extinction is forever. And unfortunately, there's things that, you know, you look at to see and hope that uh, you can make a difference. How many, so every animal here is a rescue. That's correct. Uh, the animals that came here are uh, a job that we take on and a commitment as a team effort to make sure that the animals are going to have the quality care that we can give them. And what's the rundown? How many how many animals are here? Um, we're over 35 animals right now, um, looking at more as we're growing. Two years we worked with the city, state, uh, federal government and uh, civil engineers to actually uh, produce a new park. Uh, we didn't realize what we were starting as uh, land use changes, zoning changes, and then of course uh, capability to work with the state officials uh, making the best opportunity to give a housing and home for animals. And you're expanding right now, so you're looking to take on how, how many more animals? How much more space? You know, we have a lot of space that we'll have a capability of housing more animals. Right now, we're moving and shifting animals around here so that it gives them a capability to have an enrichment in new environments as those grow and change a little bit as uh, refurbished or uh, having a chance to change those environments around. Other animals will get to share that. And I wanted to talk with you just in general what your thoughts are. One of my favorite quotes from Steve Irwin about animals in captivity, um, because you, you have a Siberian tiger here. Correct. How many, you have, do you have more than one Siberian They're tiger? all Siberian tigers. They're all Siberian tigers. And there aren't that many left on the planet. Unfortunately, the wild is depleting on a daily basis, and it's a worldwide problem, of course, uh, not just in other countries, but even in our own country, that we have a problem of uh, taking away all the livelihood, the trees, and the homes, environments, the habitats of other animals, not just big cats, but other animals that are going and getting close to extinction because of our use. So, you know, we were talking here on, on the way here in the drive here, uh, the, the, the dilemma about animals in captivity. You know, we want to see animals in the wild and thriving, but unfortunately because of human interference, that's a pipe dream. And one of the things that I loved Steve Irwin s said was the benefit of having animals in zoos and in wild animal parks being cared for well. And obviously these animals, they've never even seen the wild. They can't be re Re released and he said the benefit of wild animal parks is if you see it and you fall in love with it you'll want to save it and I feel like that probably resonates with you for sure as we look at the beauty of the animals and would love to share that with other folks is a lot of places unfortunately you don't see that up close and so we get an opportunity to maybe impact a little bit more here and give an opportunity for folks to go away with a different thought we hope yeah so so with that what would you say 
to people who would want to, you, you have the option for people to adopt animals, to donate, sponsor, what, what would you want to say? You know, it's a team effort, as I tell everyone, this was my dream, but everybody working together has made it reality. Uh, the sponsorships, you know, because we have a lot of things going on, and what I'd like to have is the businesses participate. We've had some, and of course we moved here in 86. We started with five acres. Now we're over 225 acres, and of course, like I said, two years working with the city and the state to produce a new master plan. So we're building a new park, and uh, I like to show folks exactly what we're building and where the costs go. A lot of places don't do that. So we actually have different amounts of what it took to make different areas happen gives an opportunity maybe for a business to come in and say, hey, that's not much, and we want to participate in making a better facility for not only the animals, but for the visitors and the caretakers. It's all a team effort that makes it all work. Yeah, everybody was working really hard when we came in, and, and you're still several hours from opening for night feeding tonight. Uh, yeah. Every day starts about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, and then uh, ends about 10 o'clock at night. That's intense. Oh, and you were telling us how much food comes in every day to feed the animals. We're feeding out right now about 500 pounds of meat a night, and we feed at nighttime because that's when the animals are active. Nocturnal. Correct. Yeah. Um, how can people get in touch with you to sponsor, to adopt, and to find you to come visit you know, these wonderful animals? Times, types of ways. Uh, of course, we have a website. It's caddyshack.org, and that's C-A-T-T-Y. S-H-A-C-K dot O-R-G. And then, of course, uh, Facebook, Instagram, major media response. I was looking at uh, some of our hits and followers. And uh, as I just recently started doing some of the media for the organization, uh, it's amazing how many people are sharing and which we seem to help participate in not only the word getting out, but in uh, opportunity for more folks that are worldwide to come out and visit. Excellent. Is, is there anything else you want to share with our viewers? Come and see us. You know, uh, we have stuff going on regularly, of course, uh, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, all nighttime events. We open at 6 o'clock. You can always buy a ticket here. We do rain or shine. It's amazing because some of our rain days have been our busiest. The cats love it. The only ones that don't are the lions. They like to see everything from the porch when it rains. But the tigers are all out. And, of course, uh, a guided tour around all the animals makes it fun. And Thursday and Sundays we just started doing during the daytime. One o'clock come out. And, again, all the purchases for your tickets are available here. You can always buy them online. But uh, we try to accommodate everybody. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's been just a blast being here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. There you have it. Come on out and see the kitties. You can't squish these ones, but you can get really close. Okay, so currently we are backstage, but this will be in the future. This will be part of the park. It will be part of the park. As we come down, this will actually be the road to the glamping sites. The glamping sites. That's because fantastic. our lake that we're creating will actually have glamping sites, a capability for a safari stay. And you don't have to leave the country. Oh, my gosh. And Short stay, and we've already been looking at tiny homes. A capability of a nice little quick stay, kind of, you know, nightly. That's fantastic. And that starts here with this chicken's coop which was actually an eagle scout project amazing awesome. that this gentleman did as he organized all the materials all the volunteers to put it together and here we have they call it a chicken coop but i think it's a tiny home it is it's really it's a it's a chicken palace is what it is and of course uh um you know uh we just had a again just had it all updated um a beautiful home for chickens is amazing but of course uh, the horses and uh, everybody that gets to enjoy too. Yeah and you said the trail back there it takes how long to ride the trail? The horse trails a couple hours on the horses um, and we hope to include that later on in our future. What's your rough uh, prospectus on that? We're looking at a couple year build. That's fantastic. That is so exciting. I will be first in line to glamp. I'm all about the glamping. We're going to have like a goddess weekend here. Count on it. That's great. <laughs> 
is our adoption board. This is one of the ways that people can help the ranch. Uh, each of these animals has a sponsor now. Of course, uh, or an adoptee, adopter, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they don't want to force get to take them home, but they are their adoptive parent. Uh, there are various levels for the various animals, you know, silver, bronze, gold, kind of like that. And it depends on how much that they contribute to their annual annual keep. Each one of these uh, is for one year. At the end of the year, they get, this is a refrigerator magnet here. At the end of the year, they get the magnet and they get an opportunity to, to renew or to adopt a different animal. So that's, uh, and over on the other part over there that you can see, these are our corporate sponsors. These are the organizations and the, the businesses that help us out, either by giving us deep discounts or by actually a lot of them just completely contribute to their their services or, or act cash. This is my boy. This is my boy right here. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So, like I was saying earlier, it's, it's the way these cats respond. They're, they're not in the least bit intimidated by the crowds that come here or or like some animals that just want to hide in the back they're very comfortable with the people here because they've never been abused you know and so they come up right up to the front and they you know and say hi to you so it's a great opportunity for the kids that come through here and for the people who come here on our opening nights like as tonight is uh and have an opportunity to see them up close so and it's just a Nero, come here come on Come on, Nero. Come on. Hey, up here. Come on, buddy. Up here and say hi. That's a good boy. Yes, he is. Of course, he's a good boy. He's love him so much. I love him so much. Just like a big house cat, huh? She's, okay, she's seven years old. And we got five of them at the same time from a, a facility that was closing up in Wisconsin. Hey girl, look at you. What a pretty girl you are. Come on. Yeah. So she's one of the ones that was, they were all five of them were together and they uh, decided they couldn't get along. You know, I needed my own room. <laughs> At about the six, year, six years old. So, you know, we were left trying to figure out how to do it. So we split up these larger enclosures to put a fence between them to, to keep them from from going at each other. This is one of her sisters right here. Hi, sweetie. This is Misha. Hi, Misha. What a pretty girl. Yeah, I'm a pretty girl. Yeah, I am. I'm a pretty girl. Oof. Oof. So that's the chuffing that you hear that's, you know, as they're greeting. They're just three years old. Yeah, they came from a facility down in southern us. Florida that that uh, was really damaged by Hurricane Irma, and a lot of their their structure was was torn up, and they just couldn't keep all of their animals. So we have here we have Adrian right here, right Adrian, and this and this Haley, okay, Haley and Adrian. Rocky's up there on the porch occupying himself doing something. He's the brother, but he's. So when you come here to the Caddyshack Ranch, I'm just gonna like put a little bit of perfume on for myself. What you should know, perfume is an enrichment item for tigers because, hi, hi, hi honey. Yes, we're betrothed now. This is Spider-Man and I've been marked. These guys are smart and they know what a human taking a selfie looks like. So when you come, you need to have a spotter because this little guy will back his fanny up and mark you while you're taking a selfie. But little did he know, he picked me. So I talked his ear off. You didn't see that, but I talked his ear off until he went back into his little kitty cat house. He laid down and I came up, I got some perfume. So like maybe he could like enjoy our life together now because now we're engaged. See if he comes on back, because he picked, he picked me, he marked me. <laughs>